Hey, this is Ralph. Let's keep working on some basic forms. So in the last video, I used this video rental database here and I created this very generic form one. I just created it by clicking on the table name and then clicking the create form button. It did everything for me automatically. Let me close this and let's show you another way to make a form. Say I want a little bit more control going into the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the form wizard this time and it doesn't matter what I have selected. I'll just click on form wizard and now I can choose different pieces of information. Let's go with customers still, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and say, all right, I wanna create a form using my customers table. And notice I have access to those tables right there. Queries are also available to me. But I'm gonna create a form for my customers table. And keep in mind, a form is there for much easier data entry and also looking up a particular record. So I got my customers table, and then I have to think, what, what fields do I want to be part of my form? Well, I could bring them all over by clicking the double arrow. There we go, all fields are part of the form. I'll send them back. Or I can choose specific fields. Let's see. Um, let's say I don't want the ID. I want their name. I want their address. I'm going to skip phone number and credit card and eh, let's get a few things. Phone, credit card, expiration. What the hell? Let's get those on there. I'm going to click next. These are the fields that I want part of my form. Next. What kind of look and layout? You'll probably stick with columnar almost all the time. I'm just going to keep that at the default there. Columnar layout. Uh, what title do I want for my form? This is going to be a uh, new customers form. Okay. Uh, do I want to open the form to view or enter the information? Yeah, it's really what I want to do. You might be tempted to modify the form's design. You could check that out also. It doesn't really matter which of these two you, you choose here because you can always switch back and forth to the other quite easily. I'll open the form to view and enter information, so I'll just click Finish. Here's my generic form. If I wanted to, I could switch over to Design View, upper left corner, and now I could actually edit the form's look and layout. So I could click hold down my shift button while I click here so I'm holding down shift so I select and I could change fonts and stuff like that I can I'm in design view right now for this form format I'll make the font nice and big 18 that's kinda big How about 16 and maybe I'll change the font color to this purple color excellent make it all bold fantastic so I've just changed a little bit about my form design if I head back to the design ribbon for my form I can go over to form view and now I can see how this form looks. It's my new customer's form and I'm ready to go ahead and create a new customer. Keep in mind my current customer's table has 1500 customers in it. So I'm going to click on a new form, I'm sorry, a new record, new blank record. And the customer's name, I'll put in my own name, Ralph Phillips, my phone number, 555-123-4567. Uh, my credit card number, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, th uh, I can't spell, two, three, four, there we go. And the credit card expiration date will be uh, five or four of 2014. That sounds fine. So I've entered this new information in. I can just tab or click away, doesn't really matter. Index or primary key cannot contain a null value. Oh, crap. My primary key is not set to auto number on this. I forgot. So I actually do need to set a primary key. Well, this I'm actually glad this has happened. Um, I thought that my, auto, that my customer ID, my primary key, was set to an auto number. So it was going to generate one for me automatically. But then I forgot that um, when I created this table of fake data, I had to convert the uh, customer ID into a text field so I could import a bunch of data. So it's actually a text field, which means I do have to enter it. And you can't enter in a new customer if you don't also create a primary key ID field for them. But lo and behold, I didn't include the primary key customer ID in my form, so I can't enter it here. So I'm kind of SOL in this regard this customer just can't go in. So what I'm gonna have to do now is get out of this. And I'm kinda trapped in an error message, you know? I can't click away. It's not gonna let me close. If I try to save, it's gonna say, yeah, do you wanna save changes? I'm gonna have to say no. But it's t still telling me index or primary cannot contain a, a null value. And it can't save the record at this time. These error messages pop up over and over. So I'm out, but if I go to my customers table, 
there's only 1,500 customers. That customer never made it in. So I've got to do something here. And there's two ways you can do it. Since our form was so simple, our new customer's form, since it was so simple, you could just delete it and recreate it. That's one way to go. Or if you want to tackle this right now, you could change this over to design view. And you could say, oh, well, what if I added a new field up here? Okay, I know this is a little bit tough to see. I'm going to give myself a little bit more room to work. And all I did was I, I drug my form footer down a little bit more so that my detail view had a little bit extra of square footage to deal with. And I'm going to click and drag a little rectangle. And that will have the effect of selecting everything. And I'm just going to drag them on right down. Try to be nice and neat about it, I guess. That's pretty good. So now I've got some space up here to work. And I could consider adding in my customer ID field. Check this out. I've got my field list off to the right. If you couldn't see that, by the way, you just add existing fields. Check this out. I take my customer ID, drag it right on here. I can fine tune it in just a second. Let's move it off to the side here. Take this off to the side. That looks pretty good. I can click on this box. And uh, where's my? format. There's my little format painter. Uh, there it is right there under my cursor. And click. Actually, they're already kind of the same. Format. But let me size them similarly. There we go. And I'm just going to do my little shift click method again. And I'll change this font over to a 16 and make it uh, dark red and bold. So I've just customized this form by adding a new field that wasn't there before. If I take this over to form view, there we go. I can enter in a new record and I can enter a customer ID. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that might be good. Remember, I can't enter a primary key that already exists, so I kind of uh, made my life a little bit tough for adding new customers. Ah, crap, and I just deleted that out. All right, what am I doing here? Did I do a number field? Oh, you know what? I'm pressing the wrong key. Okay, I'm notice I'm creating new records here as as we go along. So, let me click it this way. I think my tab order is out of whack. So, we'll have to fix tab order too. So you can control the tab order. But I don't necessarily want to show you that in this video because I'm getting low on time, ready to move on here. So anyway, I got my one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me put my info in real quick. Customer phone. Five twenty fifteen. Okay. So that's customer fifteen oh one. Let me go to fifteen oh two. Come on, because they would create duplicate values in the index of primary key. Add a 7 there, because I got these other lame ones in here. Make sure. All right. It's OK. I will cancel that. Oh, man, it's going to force me to do this one. I'd like to delete it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's fine. Good and good. All right, I know this is a little weird, but let me go ahead and close this form. I'll save my changes head over to my customers table and notice I do have 1502 records now. I've got my self in there and I'm going to go ahead and delete this record. I will right click delete record. Yes. There we go. So all of that work just to enter in a new customer. But I promise you this is really the most efficient way to go and it's what's normal. If you're going to create a new account at an online website you're presented with a form. And that form is just for you. One person, one record, and that data goes into a table of a bunch of other people. So, a couple different ways to create forms. Click on the table and just click the Create Form button. Or, go into the Form Wizard, form wizard and choose specific fields you want. And although it was a little shaky there for me at the end, you do have to be prepared that you don't violate your rules. Primary keys have to be unique. And you do have to make sure that every record has a primary key field, usually an ID number. Okay, 